There's also the Bird Gardens Theater, which hosts Critter Castaways, a children's show featuring humans and pets living on an island. And like with any theme park show aimed at children, it is my solemn duty to snark about it based on logical criteria it never intended to follow. The set is made up of a shipwrecked vessel called the Amazon Queen. Huh. Amazon Queen. So, who would the asylum get to be their Bogart and Hepburn? <sighs> Big deal, any old play can start with, though, what a beautiful morning. Call me when a kid show at a theme park opens with Spadoinkle. A bunch of pets do a bunch of chores using a bunch of wacky invented devices. Gah, a human! Where have I heard that melody before? With a thankful heart, with an endless joy, with a growing family, every girl and boy will be... Huh. And then again, that movie took a lot of musical motifs from Christmas carols, and hell, Disney ripped off your entire park, so I guess Turnabout's fair play. Yeah, I live at the shipwreck two blocks away. Could you please not sing so loudly first thing in the morning? Yes, I'm sure your harmonious debris did nothing to upset this island's delicate ecosystem. Well, now we have to do the wash again, thanks to all this black plague. Watch my mouth. Yes, with just 10 easy payments of 1995, you too can experience the wonders of harmony. We live in it, you can too. Oh, I guess living in harmony frees up a lot of time for concern about superficial appearances. But then there are some unexpected visitors on Harmony Island. Oh, well, we got this party cruise. We got off the sightseeing. Now we're lost and I can't find my cell phone. In tonight's episode of Gilligan's Island, the part of the Harlem Globetrotters will be played by Jughead and Veronica. So Jane talks up how great life is on the island. I was kind of hoping you'd forget about that because I really need to recruit you guys into our weird survivalist cult if I'm going to meet my quota. Then our castaways reluctantly learn about animal life. I am completely shocked that these animals don't eat Hot Pockets or drink Four loco. Hey guys! Get that cat away from me! Peggy, that's not a cat, it's a bear! Yeah, you idiot, you thought you were scared by a cat, but it was just a bear. Really? Hey everybody, it's playtime! Playtime. That's what they call their sacrificial ritual to the volcano god. Hey! Hey! What are you doing? I said get out of here! The Young Cruella de Vil Chronicles. Oh, Peggy, you're just in time! Like WTF, LOL, Goatsy. Hey, I think this is what that hot chimney was trying to show me earlier. Oh, I guess that wasn't so bad. Kind of pointless, but not bad, per se. This is my friend Target, and he loves oh. playing football, but he'll never guess what position. What? The ball. The ball? Um, All right, let's see what we can do here. Yeah. Remember, kids, throw your pets as hard as you can. It's fun. Let's 
snowshoes and boots. All right, everybody, I need your help. Let's count these hoops for Monkey. Are you ready? One, two, three, four, five. One, one fucking amateur. You murdered my idiot boyfriend and brought me his femur? Then the whole cruise was worth it. No, the moron lives, and he tries making a flare out of fireworks. You can't have a flare without gunpowder, now can you? Let's see. Put this in here, maybe a fuse, and... Well, have you got about dozen? Two bags of gunpowder? <laughs> I like the way you're thinking. But you know what? I bet we can get a really big one if we use three bags. I mean, honestly... What's the worst thing that can happen with three bags of gunpowder? I mean, we get a huge bag of gunpowder. What would be sure? All right. Ah uh, yes, that old rule of Chekhov's. If a three-bag rocket is shown in Act 3, it must immediately be abandoned because a bird played dead listening to the Godfather soundtrack. You know, this looks like it could be the start to a beautiful friendship. Oh come on, you're ripping off the wrong Bogart movie. So the animals adorably set off a ridiculous chain reaction to signal an SOS and the dumb boyfriend wackily blows up a dog. Wait, what? <laughs> And by that, I mean she was the first dog I ever spent more than 30 seconds with. I'm so sorry. I never had a chance to tell you how much you mean to me. Okay, and I thought romance was forced in fiction. And they're so happy the dog's alive, they don't even care that they missed their boat. Maybe we can just stay here forever. Why not? We all did. We, we all did. did. Stay, stay with, with us, us forever. Everybody, stay with me. One more time. Stay with me. No phone. No light. No motor cars. Not a single luxury. Like Robinson Crusoe. It's primitive as can be. So join us here each week, my friends. You're sure to get a smile from seven stranded castaways here on Gilligan's Island.